Hey, Angie, Dog Psychology 101. So today, let's talk about shadow chasing and reflection chasing. So anytime I see this in a dog, I know that the dog is bored and not satisfied. Most likely you have a herding dog or a working line dog. Um, and they're not being satisfied through their DNA. They're not doing that thing they were built for. If you have a very intelligent, busy dog who is spending more time in the house than they are out with you in life, they are just bored. And this kind of turns into something to do. And sometimes we have a neurologic shift. I've done a video on this before uh, about laser pointers and sometimes this can start with a laser pointer. So laser pointers are great for cats. It doesn't cause harm in a cat, but about 75% of dogs who experience play with a laser pointer are going to chase reflections afterwards. And it is a permanent lifelong shift that has, we have not found a way to snap them out of it. It becomes obsessive. So anytime you have something kooky and obsessive, we know that your dog is not satisfied. And then on top of that, please, by all means, avoid laser pointers at all costs. I've had some controversial comments on my laser pointer video about that. Uh, I call it laser pointer syndrome. I can't prove that it's a syndrome, but I know from my personal experience, three out of four dogs will suffer from it after that. But it's common for me to see breeds like Vigilas and Weimaraners and, um, you know, like working dogs who are all of a sudden chasing shadows and or reflections off the walls and things in their house. And maybe they haven't played with the laser pointer. It's just pure boredom. These guys are supposed to be out hunting things. They have a heavy prey drive. And when they see something fast moving like that on the wall, it may come from your watch. It can come from mirrors in the house. It can come from anything moving and shiny. Um, but it could spark the same type of neurologic response. So I promise you, if you have a tired dog, they don't care about the reflections bouncing off your walls. All right, so listen to what I'm saying. Walk your dog, make it mental, offer them freedom with maybe my liberty lines, and get them out, satisfy them. It reduces all of this neurotic behavior. All right, give it a try, everybody. Thanks, next time.